Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Alex, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to take our Neurovine bundle and assemble it on a panel like this. Everything you get in our kits, like the advanced bundle, is basically uh, what you see right here. So you got the pumps, you got the alchemist, and then you have this manifold. And if you're doing an install, uh, sometimes it helps a lot just to develop a panel um, before you go out to the install, or you can do it there. Um, so what we're going to show is basically how to put this on the wall, where everything goes, and how to mount it. So there's a lot of different ways that you could build a panel like this. Um, what we did was we chose a two foot by four foot PVC board. Uh, and that way it gives us enough room to make sure that we could assemble all the components. And then it's also wide enough to allow each ball valve to sit comfortably at either end of the panel. Also, when we mounted it, we actually put some wood behind it, and these are about one inch thick and six inches wide. Uh, again, you could be pretty flexible in what you choose, but uh, what's nice about this is it allows us to mount this wood right to the studs of the wall, and then we have like a, a big space where we could easily mount uh, the rest of the panel. Also, we have a nice gap in the back, and so that way when we do our cable management, we can actually hide the cables behind the panel so it looks extra neat. So our panel is about four feet wide, and so I cut these just a little bit shorter than that, so they basically go the whole length of the board, but there's still a little bit of room on either end, so they're not sticking out. To mount these wooden planks on the wall, we first want to figure out where the studs in our wall are, so we do need something like this, like a stud finder. It's important to start from somewhere that's like, that doesn't have a stud. We start from here. Keep going in, it notices that there's something behind the wall. And then it's green. We can just put a little dot right there. And the studs are, are wide enough where you have a little bit of room for uh, error, but you do want to try to get it right in the green. So we know that there's a stud here. And then we're gonna keep going until we find another one. So there's a stud there, um, but that stud is a little bit close to this stud, so we're gonna go until we find the next one. All right, so we got our next stud right here. Now we found our two studs. What we wanna do is we wanna figure out what height we wanna mount it. So in order to figure out the height we wanna drill into, um, I'm just gonna use this pipe as like a way to decide how far I'm gonna go down. Uh, Cause obviously we wanna make sure our panel's uh, nicely be below the pipe, but it's also good to have it uh, at a height that we're comfortable working with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this ruler and then I'm also gonna use uh, this level and just measure about say seven and a half inches. So what I've done is I actually drilled a little hole right where we're gonna actually put it into the wall. And so we can see that when I put this up, this hole is gonna line on underneath that little line that I marked. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to, to drill in. All right, so now this is nicely on the wall. What I'm gonna do is put the level here, make sure that this is nice and level so I can kind of move it a bit. And then I'm gonna, again, find my stud, make sure I have the right position. Leave a little mark right there. And then I can also use the level to basically just line up where the stud is with the wood make sure that's level, and then I can just go right down there on the wood, and so then I know exactly where I wanna drill into. So just like the last time, I'm gonna drill a little bit of a pilot hole, so it's gonna make it that much easier when uh, putting the screw in. All right, so this is the panel that we're gonna be using, and then this is the other piece of wood that we're gonna be putting on the wall. And we wanna decide really where we put this one in relationship to this one. So if we measure the whole panel, right, the, the height of the panel, it's about 18.5 inches, okay? And then these, these are about 5.5 inches, right? So if we were to add up these together, 5.5 times two, that's gonna be 11 inches, right? And if this thing is 18.5 inches, and these are 11 inches, that means that there's 7.5 inches left. So basically that's how much space we have. Like we could, we could basically put them 7.5 inches away from each other. Um, but I think we should maybe put them like seven inches away and that way there's a little bit of room on the top and bottom for the panel to go. So I'm gonna just take my ruler 
And then I'm going to make a mark at seven. So I'll put the mark like this. And I'm, I'm gonna draw it out a little bit because this is gonna be like going on the top of the wood. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I really need to do for this. So now that we got our two wooden planks up, we can easily mount the panel. So we'll just make sure that everything lines up properly. So what I'm gonna do here is mark where I'm gonna drill this panel into the wooden boards. I'm gonna have it one inch down and then two inches in. This is actually like, why don't we do one and a half inches down? One and a half inches down and two inches here. So I'm gonna put that right here. So then I'm just gonna go two inches in. It's gonna be the same height there and I'll put a little mark right there. All right, so we're gonna put this right up to these wooden planks and make sure that they're completely hidden. All right, so once we have one in, we're gonna make sure it's nice and level. And then we're gonna put our second screw in. All right, so now that the panel's up, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with these two screw holes. So I'm gonna go one and a half inches from the bottom and then two inches in. All right, so then I'll make a nice markation right here and then do the same thing on the other side. So now that our panel's up on the wall, uh, let's go look to the one that's already assembled so we can understand what the next step would be. So coming over here, um, the thing we wanna focus on first is getting this manifold set up properly. Uh, the manifold could be pretty low, like almost as low as possible on the panel. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out basically first where this has to sit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, three of these um, pipe hangers on the panel. And so what we wanna do is basically kinda hold this thing up. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna figure out where these pipe hangers will go on our board. And so this, both these boards are both the same width. They're 48 inches or four feet wide. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and get my ruler right under these. And then I can actually see what distances I need to drill into, right? So here uh, I could see this maybe going around to 12 and a half inches. Then here, this one could be maybe 24. And then over here, we could do 35. And so I'm gonna put a dot right here at 12 and a half. And then another one right here at 24. And then another one at 35. So what I'm gonna be doing now is hanging up these pipe hangers. Uh, the screws I'm using are only three quarters of an inch. And the reason I like to use these is like, say we're drilling through the panel and there's that gap in the back. Like I don't want the screw to be coming out too much in the back. So that's why I'm using these shorter screws. So this is the pipe hanger that we're gonna to use to hang up the manifold. These are gonna be included in your Neurovine bundle. Um, so now I got the screw in to the hanger and I got my impact driver already. So now I'm gonna go over to the panel, get the screw right on top of the hole that we created and I'm gonna just drill right in. One thing to mention is uh, it's important to keep the top where the, uh, the bite goes over the bottom. It doesn't make a huge difference, but uh, it's better to have it in this direction. So we're now gonna do the other two. So to give a little bit of context to why we're putting the panel here, um, this panel is gonna be dosing this tank and the direction of the flow is gonna be going from the bottom of the tank right there into that circulation pump and then it's gonna go up and then we're gonna put a manifold right there on the panel. So it'll go that direction and then into the tank again. So what's super important is where we put the sensors versus the pumps because if the flow is this way, uh, we want the sensors to be on this side and then the pumps to be on that side. So that way, say uh, the pumps do dose, they don't dose right on top of the sensors, they dose directly into the tank. So whenever the sensors take a reading, the reading is of the entire mixture. And we'll go over that again uh, as we're installing it, but just to give you an idea, like 
the direction is gonna be this way. So it's gonna be sensors first and then pumps second. Now we're gonna put together the manifold. So this is all the components that you're gonna get in your Neurovine bundle. Um, and so this is where the sensors go and this is where the pumps are gonna go into. These are the ball valves. Um, so each ball valve is gonna have two different endpoints you can have. So you can either have the, the slip fitting, which is the smooth part, or you can have the threaded, which is uh, the part where you can screw one thing into another. We want the slip to be on the outside because that's gonna connect to our PVC. And then on the inside, we're gonna have it uh, threaded. So the first part of the line is going to be the sensors. And so we're gonna take our ball valve and we're gonna screw it on right over here. Now, it's actually super important for us to put some plumber's tape here. This connection definitely needs tape because there's no rubber gasket. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of tape on there. And one of the things to note is the direction of these handles should be in the direction of the flow. So you can kind of see how this side is longer than this side. So it's like an arrow going in this direction. All right, so now we've got the, the ball valve connected to this part of the manifold. So we're now gonna connect the next parts of the manifold together, the pumps. So these are super easy to put together. You don't need any plumber's tape. So we got this, we got another one. Okay, so now we're gonna put this nipple on to the end because these um, are both female threaded. So um, because this side has a gasket already, so this has a, one side has a gasket, one doesn't. So I'm gonna put the side without the gasket over here because you only need one gasket. So now that's nice and good. We're gonna put the other side right here. All right. So that should have a really good seal as well. You can always tighten it over here if we need. So now we got our manifold together once again. Uh, the flow is gonna be going in this direction from the sensors to the pumps into the tank. So because we have our, um, our pipe hangers really nicely uh, laid out, all we gotta do is basically put our manifold right up to the side, um, kind of figure out where is the best place for it. And you see there's a lot of wiggle room. This seems pretty good. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just snap these into place. It's pretty dope. Now that we have our manifold nicely set up on the panel, the next step is to put the DIN brackets that we're gonna to use to connect our uh, elixir pumps and our alchemist. So what I'm gonna do is basically use this T, which is gonna make it super easy to line everything up. So I wanna put this up high enough where there's like enough room to connect like the tubes from the pumps into the, into the manifold here. And also there's room for the alchemist as well. So I'm gonna go up maybe just a little higher than this. Um, I think that this, is, this looks like a pretty nice distance. And so then I'm just going to be basically like drawing lines of where um, generally like the DIN rails can go. So see like centered right here. So I would kind of just go up here and basically just draw a line. It doesn't matter if I draw anything here because it's gonna be uh, covered. And then right again here, kind of go up to the middle, and then I can draw another line like here. And then for the alchemist, it's gonna be shorter, like the, the DIN bracket's only about five inches long. So again, I'm gonna come up from the middle and then I'm just gonna go right along this line. So now we're gonna be mounting up our DIN rails. So we're gonna start with one of these elixir rails. So it's gonna be pretty simple. We just have to find that line we drew right there. So I can see the line right here, see how they all line up. And it's pretty straightforward. We just have to line it up so that the line is even through each hole. And then we wanna just make sure it's pretty centered. So we got it pretty centered. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these screws in. All right, so now we've got our DIN rails nicely lined up. So now we're gonna put our elixir on the wall. Basically, all you gotta do is you got these hooks right here in the back. So you put them on the bottom 
and lift up. So the last thing we're gonna to mount to our panel is this power strip. So I'm gonna put it right over here on this side of the board. You can kind of be creative with wherever you wanna put it. To do this, I'm just gonna look at the holes in the back and I see that there's a distance of 4.5 inches in between them. So all I need to do is take a ruler and a level and then go over to the panel right here. And then I'm just going to make sure that this ruler is level. I'm gonna put a dot right over here on the one and then 4.5 inches after that is right over here. And that's where my screws are gonna go. So now I'm gonna drill my screws into the wall. And because I'm using these as kind of like hooks, I don't want them to go all the way in. So I got a little bit of room right there. All right. So now we're at the point where we want to start connecting uh, everything together. So we're going to connect the sensors from the Alchemist into the manifold. Uh, we're going to put some tubing connecting the elixir pumps into the manifold. Um, before we do that, we're actually going to drill a few holes into the panel. So that way when we, say, connect the sensors, we can hide the wires behind and, and make the whole thing look a lot more nice. So I just used a 3 8 inch bit to drill all these holes above the sensors as well as underneath the elixir so I could put the power cable through. For the EC sensor, the, the cable's a little bit thicker so I'm going to actually use a larger bit. I'm going to use a 1 half inch to, to drill this hole. So now we're finished with the assembly of our panel. Uh, we've basically mounted some wood to the wall, put the panel on the wall, uh, mounted our pumps, mounted the alchemist, put on the manifold, connected the pumps to the manifold, connected the sensors to the manifold, put holes in the panel so that we could do cable management and plugged everything in. So now we're basically good to go. We can now connect this to any hydroponic system that we're trying to set up.